This will be a short video about using the Google RSS Reader tool. For many people, RSS is kind of a mystery, and you can look it up in the Wikipedia. And basically, RSS has a number of different meanings, but uh, essentially, what it is, it's a way to aggregate news feeds off of various websites. Uh, your favorite blog might have an RSS feed. Your favorite um, newspaper or technology website or cooking website, you name it. Um, you'll notice this big orange symbol here. That's the RSS logo. And you can find that on many sites. And by using the RSS readers that are out there, Google's is just one example, you can basically bring the news all into your reader from many different websites, which means you don't have to go look at all the different websites. It comes to you. So that's a real advantage. Let's take a look at the Google Reader. So um, go to google.com and under the More drop down button, there is an option for the reader. So we'll scan on down to the reader. Now I'm already logged into my Google account. If you don't have a Google account, you'll have to create one and then log into it. You'll notice that my reader on the left hand side has many different folders. These different folders are where I organize all the different subscriptions that maybe I have. So this programming folder, I'll just go ahead and open that one. Right now you'll notice I just have this one subscription to the Java Technology Fundamentals. So if I click on that, it'll show me all of the various feeds that I've received from the Java Technology Fundamentals. The last one I got was in January. So that's not a very busy feed. Let's take a look at uh, one of my tech feeds here. So I'll go to tech. So you'll notice there are many, many, many tech feeds here. Um, ABC News and Apple and CNN and so on. Lifehacker is one of my favorite tech sites. So let's click on that one and see what kind of news feeds I've received from Lifehacker. So yeah, there's a bunch of them from Lifehacker. You'll notice that uh, they're pretty busy. I've actually received a bunch just today. And so you can just kind of scan on down looking at these various feeds and see whether or not you're interested in those. Um, I can click on one of these feeds. Let's just go ahead and click on this first one. And it opens up a, a little bit bigger window with the feed information and quite a bit of the article here. And I can actually go to Lifehacker's website to see the rest of this or more details about this article, but I won't do that right now. So that was a pretty nice way to read these articles without having to go to Lifehacker. And I can just scan through them, clicking one after another. So again, this is a really easy way to read a lot of different feeds, and they all come to you. So here's slash dot. That's another one. Let's just click on that first one, and there's essentially the article. Read more of the story at slash dot. I can just skip that. So this is a way if you want to really maximize your time on the internet and cut down on all the different websites you have to go visit, because essentially this brings all the websites to you. So let's take a look at a, at a couple of websites to see how we might go ahead and actually add a, a RSS feed to our page here. Um, I'll go to the New York Times. Here's the New York Times website, and this is the technology page at the New York Times. And if I'm looking at this page, I'm trying to figure out, you know, where I would find their RSS feeds. And I'm scrolling around, and you know, it's not real obvious. So often I'm looking for something that says RSS, or I'm looking for that orange logo. So I'll scroll down on this page, and there might be something on this page. Often you find it down at the bottom, but Notice right here there's a little area that says subscribe to technology RSS feeds. So that's cool. So the technology news, and then they've got it broken up into various feeds, and you got bits, blog, and so on and so forth. So let me just click on this technology news link right here. And it opens up and it says to subscribe to this feed. You can click on many of these different readers. You notice I got a whole boatload of readers here. You can also just grab the URL for their feeds. So the URL is in this box. So I can, I can highlight this box and just copy that box. Let me go ahead and do it sort of the old-fashioned way first, and then we'll get another one that uh, shows you how if you used one of these various feed readers. It's so easy. So I've highlighted the URL in this box, and I'm just going to copy that. And now I go back to my Google Reader, and I click this button that says Add a Subscription. 
So I just click that button and it says enter the uh, URL here. Notice it says paste a feed URL right there. So I'll just paste my previously copied feed URL right there in that box and click the add button. And now down here at the bottom it's got the New York Times technology feed and here are all the latest articles. Notice there's four of them just today. So uh, let's click on refining the Twitter explosion and see what that looks like. So you'll notice this one it's a fairly short little article but it gives you a heads up of what it is and if you want to read more about it of course you can click this link and it'll take you to the New York Times article but maybe you just look at this and you go okay that's all I wanted to know and you can just click on and go on down to the next one. So that's the sort of old-fashioned way of adding a new feed. Let's go and find another one. Let's try one more. Let's go to TG Daily. But you'll notice at the top they also have a RSS logo, the orange RSS logo. Let's go ahead and click on that. And then TG Daily RSS feeds and we can scroll down and you'll notice that they broke their feeds, they've broken their feeds up into multiple categories, all news, business news, consumer electronics and so on. But you'll also notice that they have all these popular f readers available. So let's just click in the all news category, let's click that Google reader button, see what happens. And it takes me immediately to this page and it says do you want to add it to your Google home page or to your Google reader? Let's click Google reader. There's my TG Daily down here, just below my slash dot link. So I actually have two windows open on my Google Reader. So as soon as I click that button, it added it to my Google Reader and opened up the Google Reader. So here are those headline off, um, articles. There's that rollicking worm infects jailbroken iPhone. Let's click on that. So as you can see, it's very easy to add these RSS feeds to all your different websites. And what happens, of course, is that you wind up with so many of them that at that point you need to start thinking about putting them into folders. Well, I've changed browsers, and so I'm not sure. I'm running Google Chrome Beta 4, but now I'm in Firefox. Let's click that Manage Subscriptions button again. And it loads in and shows me all my subscriptions. And you can see I've got a boatload of those, but you can add them to folders. See, it says, you know, I've got this one in a folder it's called Folder Fun. Let's go down to the bottom here. There's that New York Times, New York Times Technology add to folder and I could I could put it in a technology folder just by saying add to folder now it's in the technology folder and I can now I put it in my technology folder now I hit back to Google Reader and you scroll down here and you'll notice that that New York Times item is now gone it's in my technology folder and I open up my technology folder and there's my New York Times technology blog actually uh, RSS feed. Now let's see if we can drag one. I don't know if you can drag one. I've never tried that. or not. I'm not thinking you can, but let's take this slash dot. Oh, it's got a little drop down menu next to it. Slash dot. Oh, right there I could have said new folder or I could have moved it to the folder just by clicking the down arrow next to that particular RSS item. So I click technology and now slash dots in technology and here's TG daily and I can put that one in technology and now I've got them in the technology folder. Again, this whole notion, of course, of putting them in folders simply just makes your many RSS feeds a lot easier to manage. Let's see what the drop down is next to folder here. So, ooh, I don't know what a bundle is. That's kind of interesting. Unsubscribe from all in the folder. Uh, that's kind of interesting. I have to look up that bundle. So anyway, this is how you can do a RSS feed reader. And notice if you click on the folder, it shows you every item in that folder by date and time and it shows you where, where the different websites are. So if you want to read all your technology feeds at the same time, just click on that folder. So that's an RSS feed reader, and there are many of those. I actually like Google's very much, and um, it's always available on the web. Of course, it's not a standalone product. It's a browser-based product. Thank you.